Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. Now, I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Hexon Oilers take on the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high-risk ball. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Briggs. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. a pick and now the quarterback is cursing boom to the moon another loser bites the dust in the nfl winning is really about how much you want it bricks i know i said never hit a man when he's down it's just plain lazy nice extra effort there and it's first and ten Five yards there. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, the ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? Third down and the offense needs a miracle. One, hot two, hot three. Oh man, the offense called a murder ball. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what the brutal hit! First and ten. He picks up a two. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll be second and eight to go. The defender says, I don't think so. Third 
down in eight. And he picks up about six on the... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Nice punt. Should move them back nice. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Nice run for five yards. <laughs> Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and a sliver. Hot, hot one, hot two. You can tell he's, a, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the body toll continues to climb. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. He, oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down in a lot. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Scrambler. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Second down and nine. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> oh my god! They killed Kenny! And it's first and ten. You know, this preserve dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer. 
a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he's running the ground game should be their bread and butter. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> down in five. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And the quarterback comes and that one in there for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that pass play is good for eight yards. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Second down and two. Oh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to eat those last two runners for this man. And it's first and ten. Was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He could go all the way. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck right on this ass. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten past happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh?
Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. Second down and nine. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching and cheeks though. Comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> Glasses? I do. Join the NFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic. A terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Because he's gonna kill you, but then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And it's first and ten. Throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. harder than that and that is unfortunate he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb oh you knew you were going to 
going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. up for six yards and that'll be second down and four and that's perfect coverage nice deflection oh my god a man from prison just came out of the field that's the ref you idiot let's see what the penalty is <laughs> First and ten. And I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crushed. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rock? He's sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. Just follow the bloody footprints to... Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, probably. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. The offense has no running backs left. Comes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He just put that guy out of his misery. 
Adrian says, who's next? Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He's the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. Yeah. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. It's a brutal hit. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Seven. 
77 to bite it. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, devastating hit. You oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> First and ten. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Rage would win. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! for pussies bricks they're going for two yeah they got big balls grand yeah, bigger than yours bam gutsy run for the conversion you know Rick, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze this guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain but man he is programmed to get down and get funky the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. Wow, the quarterback just threw a son again. He's off to the races. And the defense is on his heels. Batam! This guy's a brick shit. And he burst. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. First and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! 
Chips the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the... Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. forever. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live his Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy! Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim! First and ten. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Why didn't the skeleton dance at the rap club, Grim? Yeah, I don't know. He had no body to dance with. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. This, they're going for two. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo grim. Man, you are the best dancers. I wish I could look like you, Grim. Dude, I wish you could just move. Your mom's attic smells like vodka and despair. Why do you always gotta go there? The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. First and ten. It's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. The Motor City Maniacs blew away their competition today and win by forfeit. Well, you're not kidding, Grim. There's a head over there, a couple of seven arms over there. Hey, there's a torn up finger in my scotch. Wow. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...